I wanted to speak on the film Birth of a Nation. Uh, mm -hmm. Not so much as speaking on the film, but speaking on actually the director and the person who actually put this film out, uh, Nate Parker. And the reason this became a huge story is because at Sundance, this was movie was purchased for $17.5 million. It was the first indie film, like, you know, he funded it himself, he produced it, he directed it. He literally put his whole blood, sweat, and tears into this project. As Nate Parker started doing his press run, as they all do for these different films, allegations arose about him being uh, not only accused, but tried and not convicted. He was found not guilty of uh, rape while he was at Penn State in 1999. What I wanted to kind of bring to light is that there's a double standard in Hollywood and I feel like our country, and especially our black men or African-Americans, period, held to a different standard when it comes to white men or others in these type of situations. So Nate Parker released this film two weeks ago. It completely flopped. In the eyes of our society, if a woman says that a man has raped them or accused a man of rape, if it's found that it's not true or they're not guilty, no matter what, that stigma and that cloud still hangs over their head. Mental health is one of the most important things that affects us on a daily basis. It affects how we relate to the people around us, how we make our choices, how we feel, think, and act. And it's one of the most, I think, under-talked about topics in the human experience completely. For whatever reason, psychiatrists and doctors for mental health are, it's a frowned upon thing. There's a stigma around it for whatever reason. When you have a car, it, the most intricate thing about it is the engine. and You have to go get that checked up every month. But for whatever reason, mental health is not something we have to get checked up upon until there's something seen as an issue. And even then, it's seen as a stigmatized thing. We have to end this. We have to really, really focus on personal mental health and the health, mental health of the people around us. It's something that is so important to the crux of our society. It's something that we don't talk about nearly enough. And it's something that I think a lot of these issues that we talk about in the news today, from politics to social issues to even climate change, if mental health is checked, a lot of these things would be a lot easier to talk about. Let's start talking about it, guys. Discount Tire is a store that sells discount tires. It's owned by a guy named Bruce Hall who's worth $8 billion. Now, Bruce Hall donated a million dollars to stop Prop 205 in Arizona and keep it a felony. So Bruce Hall has decided that he wants to deny Arizonans the right to, frankly, self-medicate using marijuana. He was joined uh, with a $500,000 contribution from Insys Therapeutics, which is under investigation for aggressively marketing opioids. And I think the American people need to understand that there are certain people in this country who are very wealthy, who frankly don't have to obey any of the regular laws the rest of us do, who'd like to put us in jail for enjoying ourselves or medicating. And they're backed up by drug companies and a kind of skewed view of uh, you know, conservatism where somehow they have the right to control other people's bodies and how they feel. So there is an actual boycott going on against Discount Tire right now. And just so you know, this isn't the first discount, this boycott against Discount Tire. There was another one uh, when Discount Tire decided that they were going to put elect, re-elect Sheriff Joe Arpaio signs in their store last year, who was more or less the racist sheriff of Phoenix.